All right, the big story of the day. Ten people have been killed. 170 are said to be still missing. This after a glacier break at a Joshimat in Uttarakhand's Chamoli district after it triggered massive flooding of the Alaknanda and the Dholi Ganga rivers uh, on Sunday around uh, 11 a.m. Many villages were evacuated as floods swept away five bridges, damaged homes, damaged the nearby NTPC power plant, washed away a small hydropower plant near Rishiganga. A national and the state disaster response teams have been deployed, as have teams from the ITBP. The Army has sent six columns. The Navy sent seven diving teams. The rescue and relief operations will be working through the night to rescue and find the 170 who are still missing. Prime Minister Modi tweeted, India stands with Uttarakhand and the nation prays for everyone's safety. We'll have to work through the night because the number of missing are on the higher side. And that's why we'll, we cannot take any chances. So the operations are on and they'll, they'll probably be on for, for the next 24 or maybe 48 hours. The, the, they are, some of them are stuck in a tunnel in the, uh, in the uh, under construction uh, uh, hydro plant um, barrage. And uh, some who were missing in the external tunnel were recovered by the ITBP alive. Uh, so there is every chance that there are some people who are, who are stuck and uh, maybe rescued. And so that's why, although it has become dark, it's, it's a difficult operation, but uh, we are up for it and uh, we'll carry on uh, regardless. There's, there's not been any voice contact, so to say, but uh, there, there is every possibility because it's a two or two and a half kilometer long tunnel and, uh, and we, there, are, there are enough spaces which could give the scope that people may be uh, safe and alive. So that's why we are trying, but uh, we are uh, the intervening, uh, intervening, uh, you know, sludge and uh, silt is a problem. So that is something we have to negotiate. So it's a tough call, but uh, we are on to it. It is reported that about 30 to 35 people are being trapped in the this this tunnel. This is a longer tunnel, and there there is a uh, the length of this tunnel is 2.5 kilometers. So uh, 300 uh, of our men are on the job, and uh, we hope that uh, during this overnight operation, we would be able to uh, uh, get uh, get through the tunnel, because the re uh, water level have been increasing in the evening, and there are chances that uh, the cold will also, uh, uh, you know, uh, cold is also there inside the tunnel. Uh, most of the uh, areas where uh, we hope that people may be there. Uh, we have already searched. So this is the last point. Like this tunnel is the point where we can find some uh, some people uh, inside. So we are hopeful that uh, once the JCBs and all in the heavy machinery we are using, just to make sure that the tunnel's uh, mouth will be opened. Once it is opened, we will be getting inside and uh, searching those uh, people who are trapped. So your big challenge now is the silt and the mud which is blocking the tunnel, right? Yes, and uh, uh, due to the fact that uh, water level actually increases in the afternoon session. So uh, now the water level has been increasing and cold is also increasing. So it's, it's, it's somehow difficult to actually uh, get into. The earlier tunnel was a smaller tunnel and uh, though it also took us around four, uh, four to five hours to actually dig the mouth of the tunnel. But right now we are on the job. Uh, we are hopeful that once it is uh, cleared, the, the, the front of the, the, the snout is cleared, then we will be entering inside it and we will be taking uh, those men if, if, if we find uh, inside. Do you have any signs of life from inside? Look, the last tunnel, uh, there was some one or two mobile phones with the one, one, of, one or two people inside. So we have talked to them, uh, you know, uh, signal was very weak, but we were able to uh, reach them. Uh, through mobile phones but here uh, there is no such uh, uh, you know communication uh, we don't know any mobile numbers are available or not but uh, you always hope that there are certain oxygen pockets within the tunnel that can be you know uh, giving them uh, some sort of air and they may be because they are acclimatized they are the people who are working there so we are hopeful that they may be uh, in, a, in, a, in a live state and uh, we would be getting them through and uh, uh, most of these uh, people are there, means they are working there in those harsh conditions. So they may, uh, you know, uh, fight it out and uh, as soon as the mouth of the, the snout uh, will be opened, we are hopeful that we will be getting it through and get, taking them out. 
and Prime Minister Modi has tweeted that he's uh, constantly monitoring the unfortunate situation and that he has uh, spoken with and is in touch with the Uttarakhand Chief Minister too. जो माँ गंगा का उद्गम स्थल है, वो राज्य उत्तराखंड इस समय आपदा का सामना कर रहा है। एक ग्लेशियर टूटने की वजह से वहाँ नदी का जलस्तर बढ़ गया, नुकसान की खबरें धीरे-धीरे आ रही हैं। मैं उत्तराखंड के मुख्यमंत्री श्री त्रिवेंद्र रावत जी, भारत सरकार के गृहमंत्री श्री एनडीआरएफ के अफसर, उन सब से निरंतर संपर्क में हूँ। वहाँ पर राहत और बचाव का कार्य पुरजोश करने का प्रयास चल रहा है। लोगों को सुरक्षित स्थानों पर ले जाया जा रहा है, मेडिकल सुविधाओं में कोई कमी न हो, इस पर जोर दिया जा रहा है। वहाँ दो एक दिन पहले ही काफी बर्फबारी भी हुई थी, मौसम काफी ठंडा है। लोगों की परेशानी कम से कम करने के लिए सरकार पूरा प्रयास कर रही है अनुमान के तहत मिसिंग सवा सौ के आसपास हो सकते हैं ज्यादा भी हो सकते हैं क्योंकि अभी जो कंपनी के लोग हैं वो भी अभी कुछ बता पाने में एकदम अभी सब लोग रेस्क्यू में लगे हुए हैं तो ऊपर क्योंकि ऊपर का प्रोजेक्ट कमिशन हो चुका था वो काम उस पे चल रहा था उस पे एक 36 लोगों की 35-36 लोग वहाँ पर काम कर रहे थे। उनमें से पांच-छह लोग उनके सुरक्षित हैं, दो पुलिस के जवान वो सुरक्षित हैं, तो एक 29-30 के आसपास वहाँ पर अनुमान है, लेकिन वहाँ पर डॉक्यूमेंट के कोई बच्चे ही नहीं हैं, कि वो कागजों के आधार पर कुछ कह सकें। and Prime Minister Modi held his first poll rally in Bengal, which is weeks away from uh, elections. And uh, Prime Minister Modi's whose silence on the Jai Shri Ram slogan episode during his last visit to Bengal was questioned by the state's ruling Trinamool Congress, made his position clear on the matter today. He said Bengal will show the Ram card to Mamta Banerjee soon. The venue of his first election rally, a challenge to Mamta Banerjee at Haldia, right next to Nandigram, from where she will be fighting this election and the idiom of his attack against her and her party tailored to resonate with the people of Bengal football but with a googly Bengal football se pyar karne wala raj hai TMC ne ek ke baad ek kai foul kar liye hai मिस गवर्नेंस का फाउल, विरोधियों पर हमले और हिंसा का फाउल, बंगाल के लोगों का पैसा लूटने का फाउल, इसलिए अब बहुत ही जल बंगाल त्रुणमूल को राम कार्ड दिखाने जा रहा है। The Ram card is the signal of the Prime Minister's support. For those who taunted Mamta Banerjee with the controversial Jai Sri Ram slogan when he last met her at Netaji's birth anniversary, to all this the Prime Minister added a new charge against Mamta Banerjee, silence in the face of what he called an international conspiracy to malign India. <laughs> कैसे कैसे अंतरराष्ट्रीय षड्यंत्र सामने आ रहे हैं कैसी कैसी साजी से खुल रही है लेकिन क्या आपने भारत के खिलाफ इन षड्यंत्रों पर इन साजिशों पर दीदी के मुंह से एक भी वाक्य सुना है क्या देश 
इन षडयंत्रों का पूरी ताकत से जवाब देगा द प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स अटैक ऑन ममता बनर्जी नो होल्ड्स बार्ड द तृणमूल रिस्पॉन्स expected to be equally sharp has been put off for now out of respect the party said to the uttarakhand tragedy amare netri mamta bandopadhyay aur tinamul congress un sabhi parivaron ke sath hai hamara man aur hriday dono adarniya pradhan mantri ji jis jis mudra unhone sikhaya hamari party ki taraf se ye press conference hoga aur A pause in the battle for Bengal, but it's sure to be short-lived. In Haldia with G D Shankar, Monadipa Banerji, N D T V. And now to Assam, which uh, Prime Minister Modi visited for the second time in the last fortnight. In Assam today, Prime Minister Modi claimed that a global conspiracy was afoot to defame India's tea industry. and no one behind it will be spared the word conspiracy here really is being interpreted as a veiled reference to a toolkit shared by the swedish teen environmental activist greta thunberg where it was said that india's yoga and chai image should be disrupted as part of the pushback against the contentious farm laws brought about by the center desh ko badnam karne ke liye saajish rachne wale इस स्तर तक पहुंच गए हैं कि भारत की चाय को भी नहीं छोड़ रहे कंस्पिरसी इज बींग हैच टू मलाइन इंडिया एंड स्पेशली इंडियन टी भारत माता की प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी सेड एट हिस्स सेकेंड रैली इन टू वीक्स इन पोल बाउंड आसाम द कॉमन कमिंग अमिथ प्यूर और एंड द डेली पुलिस इज प्रोव इन टू ए टूल किट tweeted by climate activist Greta Thunberg which allegedly advised people on how to support protesting farmers and the police had claimed even mentioned yoga and tea kuch dastavez samne aaye hain jinse khulasa hota hai ki videsh mein baithi kuch taaqatein chai ke sath bharat ki jo pehchan judi hai us par hamla karne ki firaq mein There was a massive turnout at Dekia Joli. It was the first ever prime ministerial visit to the historic town where 13 people were martyred during the Quit India movement. The prime minister laid the foundation of two medical colleges and the Assam Mala project where 2500 kilometers of state highways and internal roads will be upgraded. He also made a new promise to the people of Pole bound Assam. Mera ek sapna hai. Har rajya mein कम से कम एक मेडिकल कॉलेज कम से कम एक टेक्निकल कॉलेज वो मातृभाषा में पढ़ाना शुरू करे कि असम में भी एक मेडिकल कॉलेज स्थानीय भाषा में हम शुरू करेंगे एक टेक्निकल कॉलेज स्थानीय भाषा में शुरू करेंगे और धीरे धीरे ये बढ़ेगा कोई रोक नहीं पाएगा उसको द कांग्रेस हिट आउट सेइंग द प्राइम मिनिस्टर वाज अलेजिंग अ ग्लोबल कंस्पिरेसी टू हाइड द गवर्नमेंट्स फेलियर व्हाट एन एक्सक्यूज फॉर द कंप्लीट फेलियर ऑफ द बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट टू एड्रेस द नीड्स ऑफ द वर्कर्स इन द टी प्लांटेशन इंस्टेड ऑफ प्रोवाइडिंग अकाउंटेबिलिटी ही ओनली ट्राई टू सर्व एन एक्सक्यूज ऑफ दिस ग्लोबल कंस्पिरेसी The BJP is going full throttle into the Assam elections. A day ago, the finance minister had reached out to tea workers with direct benefit transfers. Today, the prime minister went a step ahead, alleging a conspiracy against India's tea and saying every tea worker will seek answers from those political parties behind the conspirators. With Ratnadeep Chaudhary, Sarah Jacob, NDTV. Welcome back. Let's uh, quickly get you up to date with the latest on India's fight against the spread of the coronavirus. More than 58 lakh beneficiaries have been vaccinated in India so far. That's the latest details out from the Health Ministry, India, which says that India is now the third topmost country with the highest doses of the COVID-19 vaccine administered. This after the U.S. and the U.K. Over 28,000 beneficiaries were vaccinated today in 12 states. 
UP has the highest vaccine beneficiary so far, followed by Maharashtra and Rajasthan. And a Navy sailor has died after alleged kidnapper set him on fire. Uh, this uh, Navy sailor had been posted in Tamil Nadu's Coimbatore. He had been kidnapped from Chennai's airport earlier this week. <laughs> इन्वेस्टिगेशन किया है फैमिली के साथ इंक्वायरी किया है उनके बैचमेंट्स उनके ऑफिसर्स आईएनएस अग्रणी के कमांडिंग ऑफिसर आईएनएस अश्विनी के मेडिकल ऑफिसर्स ये सब लोगों के साथ हमने इंक्वायरी की है बयान दे के मरा है कि मुझे अपहरण करके तीन दिन से नहीं में रखा है